Hello, my name is Dr. Simon Foster and we're here at Imperial College London to work out some of the energy that's being used in a rugby tackle at this Six Nations tournament. Today, our test subject is going to be Chris Robshaw, the captain of England. First thing to do is we're going to look at his velocity in one of these tackles. Now, to do that, we're going to use the equation velocity equals distance over time. We know from some of the data on Chris that he travels a distance of 10 meters in 1.65 seconds. Putting that into our equation, we come out with 10 divided by 1.65, and that gives us a velocity of six meters per second, and that's roughly 20 kilometers per hour. Now, why have we calculated the velocity? Well, an important thing to look at is the energy, or something we call it kinetic energy, in this collision, in this tackle, okay? And we're going to calculate it in a unit of energy called the joule. And this can be comparable to the watt per meter squared. So what's a watt? It's the amount of energy being used to power your computer or your lights around you. Now, kinetic energy can be calculated from the equation K kinetic energy, Ke, equals half the mass of the object, in this case Chris, times the velocity squared. Now we know mass of Chris, or we know the mass of Chris is 110 kilograms. So we put that in. And we've just calculated his velocity in meters per second, so we do six squared. And that comes out at roughly 2,000 joules. So following on from these rough calculations, we can give some sort of real world examples of how much energy is being used. Firstly, in each tackle, you could power a 60 watt light bulb for around about 30 seconds. And it's also the same as if you were to take a full fridge freezer up to a height of two meters and drop it. That's the amount of energy involved. So when you're next watching the game and you see the amount of tackles Chris is going to make, and that's roughly around 20 to 30 per game, it gives you some idea of the amount of force and energy that these players' bodies are going to absorb.